A big class of drugs that is commonly prescribed daily is antibiotics. Yes. Let's talk a bit about what, what do they deplete? Well, the main nutrients antibiotics deplete are B vitamins. So if you've been on antibiotics, it is recommended you get on a B complex or a good high potency multivitamin with a B complex in it because, of course, B vitamins are needed for so many things, including good energy levels. So a lot of people find, well, I've been tired ever since I've been on antibiotics for the week or two after. Mm -hmm. Boost up your B vitamins. Of course, you can get your B vitamins in whole foods as well, including even nutritional brewer's yeast you can get from your health food store. A tablespoon or two a day can get your B vitamin levels up in a whole food base. So that's a good way to do it. Okay, what about the good bacteria that our gut is being depleted of when we take these antibiotics? Let's talk about that a little bit. Sure. Well, I think that's the biggest problem. I mean, I think it is very strange that still today when doctors prescribe antibiotics, they're not routinely recommending patients get on either yogurt with live cultures in them or taking probiotic supplements to good bacteria. You need this good bacteria for good immunity, good digestive function. A lot of people after they've been on antibiotics end up with loose stools or diarrhea or the women get vaginal yeast infections. The men get the jock itch. They get overgrowth of fungi organisms. They okay. get yeast overgrowth. So you could prevent that by taking the yogurt or the probiotic supplements while you're on antibiotics and we recommend for a month afterwards to build up your good levels again uh, very important. So should they take the probiotics when they take the antibiotic or a couple hours afterwards? Correct. We recommend at least two hours away from the antibiotic because the antibiotic is going to destroy that good bacteria. And then for months, well really people should be taking probiotics daily anyway, right? I mean, it's a good supplement during the winter time to prevent colds and flus, help good immunity. If you're a person prone to digestive problems like irritable bowel syndrome, colitis, yes, it's a supplement we'd recommend people be on daily because it's so helpful in improving their digestive symptoms. But if someone doesn't want to do that, what's the minimum time they should go on the probiotics after they've used an antibiotic? I'd say a minimum would be two weeks. Okay. A month would be better, but a minimum of two weeks is really optimal to replace, recolonize that good bacteria. And are there different forms for adults versus children, or can you just get a generic probiotic from the health You store? can use a generic. For young kids under two years of age, it's better to use a children's probiotic. Okay. There's different species which are more common in children. Of the good bacteria? Of the good bacteria, right. that's okay. right. Like the bifidus is more common in children, so in the infant's formulas, you have a higher degree of bifidus bacteria, which mm -hmm. is important. But other than that, a good lactobacillus acidophilus supplement, usually about 5 billion organisms a day is what I recommend okay. people take. Sounds like a lot, but you can get that in one or two capsules a day. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's good information.